In this video, we are going to see how to calculate forex gain or loss in tally.erp9. First, we have to create a company. Open tally.erp9. Create a company. Accounts only is enough for calculating forex gain or loss. Change the date as well. Accept it so that the company will be created. Once you have to create you have created the company, you are going to make some changes in features by pressing F11. In accounting features so here in allow multi currency we have to change it as yes accept it now go to gateway in gateway now press accounts info you can see the option currencies now now create currencies Give the symbol of the currency dollar formal name US dollar. Accept it. Create another currency like uh, pound. So, if you want to insert the symbol of pound, you have to use some shortcut. The shortcut for inserting pound is Alt 156. Alt 156. Simultaneously, you have to press Alt 156 so that pound uh, symbol will be inserted. Formal name is pound. Accept it. Now we have created two different currencies. Now go to Gateway. In Gateway, Accounts Info, Ledgers, and Single Ledger Create. Now we are going to create some ledgers. One is Purchases under purchase accounts accept it then sales under sales account accepted watson under sundry debtors and his uh, currency of ledger we are going to make some changes he is maintaining his accounts in us dollar accept it next bracken he also is entry retard he also maintaining his accounts in us dollar accept it next bill he is a sundry creditor he is maintaining his accounts in pound next mr broad he also is sundry creditor who is maintaining his accounts in pound so that we have created two sundry debtors as well as two sundry creditors ledgers next another ledger we are going to create in the name of forex gain or loss under indirect expenses accept it go to gateway in gateway accounts info voucher types click voucher types you can see the option alter click alter under voucher type you can see a type of voucher named journal click that journal name of class here give the name of classes forex gain or loss press enter 
use class for forex gain or loss adjustment make it as yes ledger name select forex gain or loss account accept now we are going to pause accounting entries under transaction go to accounting vouchers first we have to purchase some goods so press f9 f9 is for purchases so our suppliers are bill bill is our supplier now we are going to purchase from mr bill So here you have to be very careful you have to insert the currency symbol of pound by pressing alt 156 because Mr. Bill is maintaining his accounts in pound. Now we have to give the rate of pound uh, approximately 91 rupees. accepted next second purchase is from mr broad purchases press alt 156 to insert pound this is for 10000 now the rate of exchange for today's date is 92 approximately change the date as well by pressing F2 accept it now make some sales pause some sales entries what is account name Watson sales 10,000 rupees so here you have to be careful that Watson is maintaining his accounts in dollar so that you have to insert the symbol of dollar ten thousand rupees dollars approximate rate is 69 accept it now change the date by pressing F2 what is account name Bracken twenty thousand before that we have to insert the currency symbol of dollar now the rate is 70 accepted now we are going to make payments as well as we are going to receive cash from our sundry debtors first we will make some payments for that we have to press f5 payment to bill we have to pay To bill we have to pay 15,000 pounds first as I said we have to insert the currency symbol alt 156 is for pound 15,000 pounds we have to pay to mr. bill so today's rate is 88 just accept it next we are going to receive some payments press f6 for that from watson we are going to receive 
first we have to insert currency symbol watson is maintaining his accounts in dollar he has to pay 10000 rupees he purchased goods at the time when the rate of exchange stands at 70 rupees now it stands at 71 just accept it now go to gateway in gateway go to accounting voucher press f7 journal in class you have to select forex gain or loss forex gain or loss oh, we made a certain payments to mr bill 45,000 rupees is unadjusted then we have received certain payments from Watson 20,000 rupees is unadjusted just accept it now see the day book alt f1 for detailed view now you can see that we have gained 65,000 rupees forex gain when we have transacted with Mr. Bill as well as Watson. So in this way you can maintain multi-currency in tally.